Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. We've just defeated the Oso Snake and been swept away in the water's current. So let's uh, see where we end up. Ah, lighter and fuel. <laughs> hey! Hey, we're laying face down over here. Come help us out. Come on, field, do something. <laughs> or not. Ah, he brought lighter over, okay. Doesn't look like Duster's with him, though. I don't see him there. Oh, you're awake, Geezer. Where are we? My house? That yep, looks like it. You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there, because I would have pretended not to see you if it just been me. Well, at least you're honest, I guess. I see. Thank you, Fuel. Did you find that moron with us, too? I thought you weren't going to call him a moron anymore. You mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. Whoa, now, don't get any ideas. That moron, I mean Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. You were both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Okay. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. All right. And hey, what do you know? We have Kuma Tora as our lead party member. For some reason. Oh, now she starts to feel feverish. So the word on the wind is going to come explain it to us. Greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase word on the wind is. Yeah, I'm not wind. Here's that one of your friends is not feeling very well. She isn't poisoned nor she's sleepy, yet she just can't get rid of that ill feeling. She likes the energy to run, and using items or hot springs doesn't appear to help either. I've seen this is because something is beginning to awaken inside her. You mean she's pregnant? But I'm sure she'll get over it before long, so don't be too worried. Now that's all for this one. All right. So, like it said, we can't dash around. It doesn't actually affect her in battle any. Uh, but basically what's happening here, she's getting ready to learn her next spell, or spells, probably in this case. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it run out. Just walk around enough and it'll run out on its own. So I'll catch you guys then. Alright, her fever went away. Learned PK Thunder Alpha and Life Up Alpha. And Healing Alpha! Wow, what do you know? I learned three. <laughs> That's unusual. Alright, so we might as well go over the new things we just learned. So let's go into our PSI menu. Learn Thunder, fires a thunderbolt, occasionally causes paralysis, and can't be reflected by any kind of PSI. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what that means off the top of my head. It's kind of weird wording, but... Uh, basically, it kind of hits, like, one random target. Uh, it would have been helpful against the snake. And uh, also, she learned Life Up Al Alpha, which restores approximately 60 HP to one ally, and Healing Alpha, which will cure status ailment. So that's pretty useful. We can also check back behind the house again and pick up our Thunder Bomb. Okay, so now we need to be looking for Duster to see if we can find out where he got uh, left off at. Oh, hello. Are you an acquaintance of Wes's? Uh, sure. Hey, mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Um, yeah. I bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Al. I think that's a miss, not a mister. Oh, okay. I... <laughs> that's not very nice. Alright, well, let's see if we can find him in town. No, oh, what's going on? Ah! Old Man Wes, where's Duster, that scum bucket? What? He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well, and now it's gone! Which means Duster stole it, that was my money! You don't even know what money is! We've already asked a thousand times, but where'd you get it in the first place? And besides, what is money, anyway? This sounds all too fishy, if you ask me. Yeah. Whoa, hey, Flint and Boney. Cool. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh, jeez, you're nice. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves, but they never did anything before because we never had anything to steal in our village. But we all know they'd steal good stuff like money if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Kumator. <laughs> He's hiding there. Who are you, a friend of the thieves? No violence, no violence! Come on, Flint. Defuse the situation. Old Man Wes. Let's just all of us calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. Yeah, see, there you go. Voice of reason. The villagers and I believe you, so for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. Okay, and now we're getting our little narration here, which means that we've uh, actually reached the end of Chapter 2, so... Kind of like this little theme here. It's kind of a... I don't know, it's kind of weird, it's kind of interesting. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. 
It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds. Wes and his son Duster, the thieves of justice. Princess Kumatora, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby alt? Yeah, you know, easy for you to say, whoever you are, narrator. Alright, so that uh, brings us to the end of Chapter 2, and then once this little narration is finished up, the save frog's gonna come by and ask us if we want to save. Uh, might as well, I guess. Alright, so that's the end of Chapter 2. Now, Chapter 3 is pretty much completely different from the first two. As you can see, it doesn't even start out in Tazmilla Village. We're in some kind of random desert here. And it's some kind of UFO. Could this belong to the pig mask people? It looks like you look at the front, it looks like a pig's nose. Oh, well, yep, there you go. Alright, so uh, who are we going to be introduced to here? Alright, you guys. Calm down. Oh! Hey, isn't that that monkey that we came across as Duster? Oh, jeez, man. You don't have to kick it. Hmm. Alright, so this is Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler. This, <laughs> this is kind of one of those chapters that's also a little bit sad, but not for the same reason as Chapter 1. Uh, <laughs> this is almost sort of like an anger chapter, if you ask me. Oh, it's yeah, it's that guy. The, we also ran into him as Duster, so I guess these are the same people. Alright, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey is as good as dead. Whoa. He seemed nicer when we met him the first time. Do what you're supposed to, and you'll get to have a nice, happy reunion later. Understand? Both you and this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. Whoa. Oh, holy crap. Well, how do you like it? That lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary collar. It's so advanced that even if you ran to the ends of the desert, punishing you would still be a snap. Well, that's no good. Come to think of it, monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're gonna need one from here on out. I hope you can come up with something cute. Nwee! Yeah, I get used to that laugh. Alright, so this is a monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend. And his default name is Salsa, which I'm gonna leave with, because that's a pretty good name. I don't know how Facade gets that, uh, <laughs> that idea from him, but... Alright, stupid monkey, Salsa, I'll only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? Isn't that three things? Uh, yeah, sure. Good boy. Second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Sure. Just don't shock me again. Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. Dweehee! Oh? What's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance! Alright, he's gonna point to the left, so we need to press left on the control pad. <laughs> That's such a silly monkey dance that just watching it is embarrassing. Try a different dance. Alright, so now we go to the right. Good boy, laugh! And down this time. Backflip! And up. Good boy, good job. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. He's just trying to go after his little monkey girlfriend, alright? Leave him alone. Okay, so apparently these, uh, the, the guy and this monkey weren't as chummy as we first thought. Oh man, come on, that was uncalled for. Alright, so they're taking off and we're now left here with Facade in the desert. Ah, Facade. It's very rare to find a character that you hate as much as Facade, you know? Hey, you stupid monkey, you only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own, it's punishment time! See what I mean? Just, oh, I hate this guy. <laughs> hey you, quit sleeping on the job. Alright, listen, there's a white round building west of here. We're going there. And we wound up being taken with Facade. Yep. And there's a uh, safe frog over here in this barrel. Hey, uh, I saw everything. Be strong, endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. Let's hope that they come... Will you save your game now? Nah, I don't need to. 
So you're not you're going to endure not saving too? Is that how you prefer it? Well, I have no choice but to accept that. Be careful out there. Yeah, well, thanks for your concern. All right, so we've now started out chapter three, and we have facade tailing behind us, punishing us for every wrong move we make. And uh, that's basically how chapter three is going to start off. But we're about out of time, so in the next part, we're going to uh, head down there to the left and explore the desert area. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.